When I was a child, like most boys in the 1950s, trains held an inexplicable fascination. We could hardly wait for Santa to answer our prayers and present us with a model train set. I received a Gilbert basic train set that contained an engine and tender that looked much like this. But my favorite engine was that beautifully painted, sleek New Haven. The Clark County Museum is a wonderful place to learn some of the history of Las Vegas and Nevada. Located on South Boulder Highway, it is but a stone's throw away from the 215 Beltway, yet most people pass it by on the way to Hoover Dam, never giving a second thought to stopping here. The foundation for starting the museum was based on the collections of Anna Roberts Parks, the first female mortician in the state and the city of Las Vegas. She was an eclectic collector of historical items from all over the state. After she died in an automobile accident in 1962, the family placed her collections in a warehouse. In order to protect the items from theft and deterioration, the family, along with prominent citizens of Henderson, Nevada, pushed for the establishment of a museum. In 1967, the Clark County Museum was founded as the Southern Nevada Museum and located in the old Townsite Elementary School. Bylaws and an official contract were set up to facilitate transfer of the collection to the museum in 1968. In 1974, 25 acres of land were leased to the museum. The first major acquisition of the museum was the old 1931 Boulder City train station. In 1979, the city of Henderson actually donated the property to the museum and also elected to place the museum under the control of Clark County. In 1990, the present museum exhibit building was completed. The director of this museum is none other than the famous Mark Hall Patton. You all know him as the expert who is often summoned to examine an historical item on the Pawn Stars TV show. Union Pacific Steam Engine number 4442 was designed under the control of the United States Railroad Administration. The nationalized railroad system in the United States during World War I. It was the standard light switcher type locomotive and was of the 060 wheel alignment, which means it has no supporting wheels in front of or behind the six main wheels, hence 060. According to the website, 4442 was one of 20 steam locomotives built in 1918 by the Baldwin Locomotive Works in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It was designed by the Lima Locomotive Works, one of the three major locomotive builders at that time the other being the American Locomotive Company, or ALCO. Of the 20 locomotives of this type produced, six were coal burners, like number 4442, and the others used oil as the fuel source. These engines were designed to be switchers, which are smaller locomotives geared to produce a higher torque 
and not used for long distance hauling or high speed transport. The work of a switcher can be likened to that of a tugboat. So a switch engine was used primarily in rail yards to move and rearrange train cars into loads that would then be coupled to the larger, longer hauler engines. It was one of three with chrome-plated cylinder covers, nickel-plated drive rods, and having a boiler jacket that extended over the smoke box and painted gray. The tender behind the engine had a six-ton coal capacity and a 4,500-gallon water capacity. The sloping rear portion of the tender was made that way to increase visibility while coupling and uncoupling trains in the railroad yard. Number 4442 was originally assigned to service in Omaha, Nebraska. It may have seen service in the rail yards in Las Vegas. It was retired in 1958 and in 1960 was driven from Grand Island, Nebraska to Las Vegas to become the main attraction at the then new Fantasy Park. In 1984, number 4442 was moved to the Clark County Museum where it resides today. Enough talk about history. Let's go out and see the real thing. This is old engine model 060. Which was used up to 1958 actually, which is sort of unbelievable since the diesel trains had already come into play by then. So we'll do a walk around of engine 442. One hundred and sixty two thousand pounds all steel it's amazing how they got this thing to work yet this was used for a long time as a switch engine Amazing machines of yesteryear. <laughs> 